What does this Surya Show LP launch mean to you? First and foremost, it means memories going back in time when your father, with absolute dedication and commitment, decided to produce what was then and by then very, very popular among radio listeners. Now, at that time, there was no television. The only electronic medium was radio. And on the English service, it so happened that I also have a, a love for music and I used to recognize the gifts and talents of musicians wherever they might be in Sri Lanka. I've been to parties and weddings, I've been listening to musicians and if I was impressed then I would say come and I would record them and put them on the air. I had a special program to expose the gifts and talents of musicians at that time. One example, if I may uh, put it to you, is there was an end of the year party thrown by Evayas Nyanam of St. Anthony's fame. He was the chairman of the Golf Face Walkers Club. And he invited me to be there and um, make a few announcements as a friend. And then there was a group playing there, Wilson and the Thunder Sparks from Vattala. And they had a vocalist there. And um, I was impressed by him, even though he sang with Tamil lyrics. And then I invited him to the studios, recorded him and put him on the air for the first time on the English service with Tamil lyrics. And that was A.E. Manoharan. Now, like this, there were many artists that uh, came along my way, starting with, uh, if you like, um, Dulip De Silva's Los Flamencos, and then there were the Moonstones with Clarence Annes Lee and uh, the lot. And then there was um, La Bambas with Pia and all of these people. Uh, and in the sweet by and by, many more were added to the line, Paul Fernando and all of them. And they became instantly popular. And because of their popularity, um, people were beginning to wait for the time when this music can be heard. And that was few and far between. Uh, because it, my, I did this on the English service. The music was not allowed on the Singhala service. Because they said this is not Singhala Singhala. As a matter of fact, they called it Tuppai Sangi there. Uh, so, whenever I had the opportunity, I did this and I also broke with tradition and played a singular song uh, on the English service and uh, brought these uh, musicians and artists uh, out to be heard. But now, there was, a, there was a yearning for people to listen to them much more than that. And that's when the vinyl recording started. And as uh, Udena has explained, uh, starting with Philips and then going on to Surya. And then Surya picked up every one of these artists who had potential and who came on the air on my programs and recorded them. Well, it didn't stop there. Um, my association then continued with Udena's father, Mr. Gerald Vikram Surya, who was actually uh, the father of all this. Um, he and I, as he said, you know, became very intimate friends. We used to discuss a lot of things pertaining to music and what more can be done and the like. And so it is that the records were being produced. Now, what did that mean? It meant that a lacuna, uh, 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 if you like, uh, the, the, the yearning of people to hear this music more and more was met because they were able to take these records, they were able to listen to it at home on their players. And then, of course, uh, if you want me to confine it only to the LP and not to the live Surya show, I'll stop here by saying that ultimately from the 45 RPM record, uh, the first ever long play album with a local label and with the, uh, what came to be known as single pop artists came out into the fore. So when this is being relaunched, 
as he posed the question to me, it took me a long way down memory lane. And to those days when there were audiences who were clapping and uh, shouting and whistling and thrilled with the kind of music that came forth and ultimately rested on the Surya label.